Hello everybody and welcome back to Bloodborne. So it's time to carry on. First I would like some more. Can I afford more Molotovs? Let's see. No. Okay, have to do with that then. Let's head back and do the second part of the Forbidden Woods. The easiest way I've found to do this is basically do the left side first. Excuse me. Uh, we do the left side first. Once we get to a tree, we'll just run back up here and do the right side. And we just continue down the right side until the end. Um, going down the main path or the main road, uh, you'll miss a load of stuff out. So it's the easiest to do that. I just want to kill this guy, for no particular reason. Right, easy echoes. Blood vials, that's it. Oh, right, so we do the left side first. We'll leave that till we come back up. So we'll leave it as a marker, and we'll just kill everything on, as we go. Really, what I should have on is not this outfit. Stick gas guns on because there is quite a bit of poison. These snakes do poison, so having a little bit of resistance does help. Don't go, we will be coming back to. Oh, oh, no. Never meant to do that. That was completely wrong. I was going to clear that left side, do the right side, and then come down here later on, but. Yeah, might as well do it now while we're here. Trying to think of how I'm going to do this now. Because um, it's completely put me off. Because this is basically near the end. It's close to the boss. Oh. Um. Is it worth. No. Could get the shortcut now, but to be honest, it's not really worth it at this stage. We have two snake heads around here and a pig and some little snake balls. There's the little snake balls. Worst thing about the snake heads that roam around here is that when they see you, they'll summon Lord more. I think it's four or five little snake balls, which can overwhelm you and inflict poison quite quickly. 
what we're going to do is just run past for now and head back to where we were and what we we're supposed to be doing which is all the way up here We were supposed to drop down at this tree. There you. And then. Check to make sure. Yeah, I did. I, did. I wasn't sure I ever collected everything before I dropped down. I don't know whether I missed anything than I did. This is where... Yeah, so this is where he is. So he wants to leave with his hand. I messed that up. Yeah, completely messed that up. <sighs> right, let's try and do it again properly. At least we don't have to go down the left side this time. We can just stick to the right. Work our way all the way down. You know, I do like killing everything in here. So just knowing the stuff alive on the left side will. We'll stick to the right. Um, oh, might as well grab this now as well. We've got this bit. We need to do a jump. Um, having jump, sprint, dodge all on the same button is so annoying. Why they went back to that after um, Dark Souls 2, I don't know. He's an easy backstab. There's the bonfire that snake man. Should be at. Here he comes. But if you let him get all the way to the fire, he's an easy backstab. That's what we're going to do. We'll let him go. Kill everything, pick everything up, but just stick to the right. Got another um, snake head here. Now you think you can sneak up to him to get a backstab, but with that snake there hiding behind the tombstones, he's going to turn around before you get to him. So.
Let's just double check to make sure we haven't missed anything. And let's just hog this um this cliff. Don't think there's anything around here. No. We have got a giant snake ball coming up. These guys, he just want to be at the back, and that's literally it. Get to the back, and they're quite easy. That's it. The one later on that hugs a uh, tree, we just bait him out and get behind him. And it shouldn't be an issue. We'll probably mess it up now, like, but shouldn't be an issue. We grab that and head back round. Now this bit can be a pain. There are three of those snake heads in this cave here. Um, I need the garden and an item. If you take on all three, it can end in death more than more times than not. So we just want to take one at a time. This is why we've got the knives. Hopefully, we'll start going for me with his hand. There we go. Love it when it doesn't do what I want it to do. This, this just isn't going well at the moment. At least he didn't die. So, right, with this guy, we just want to sneak up behind him. Maybe we'll have to follow up as well. First chuck. Now we've got two snake balls, giant snake balls down here. Um, I do like to use molotovs, but if you do it from here, there is a high chance that you're just going to fall down, and we don't want that. So it's easier to go from here. One at a time, not a problem. Two. Yeah. That could be a problem. I could want him to come out a little bit. It's been a pain in that movie. Elf running, catch it down. Not too bad. When we've done this, we want to go back to the right side. We've got a few, um, a few more things to collect. There is another giant ball around to the right here. 
try and take out all these without them causing them. I would like to get rid of these little ones before I have to deal with them. Too bad. Collect everything round here. And then we have got a drop there which we will get in a second. First, move it up here and grab this item. Now we have got another um, giant snake ball there. So we'll, we'll do a plunging attack on him in a, in a second. Drop down here, a snake head. Oh. Now that is the way to the boss, but this is um can open from this side so this is one of the summons that we will be using uh, and we, they that only shows up because we have the um is it rapture rune at the end it's the only reason why if we don't have that on it won't show up right here is that giant snake ball so we're doing good plunging attack on it and this is where we were before got the big pig snake heads wandering around but we want to take care of the big pig oh no We've got a snake head first like I said before with these ones as soon as you see yeah, they will summon uh, I think it's about five little snake balls which can overwhelm you so let's just be careful why is something dying over there well something just died no idea what Can't be bothered. Oh, it's only four of them. Now there's five because this. There's another one there he is. There's more, more snake balls up here so we'll just kill these. Deep with him in the second.
That wasn't too bad. Still want to know what um, what died over there, but right, let's kill the pig. Sneakily up to him, shove our hand up his butt. Should be okay. I'm not sure if there's any more items up here. That's where we will be going. We're heading towards the boss. Shouldn't be. No, that's it. Wait. Yeah, if we didn't fall down before, we would be um, coming up this way to go to where those aliens were. Oh, well, where's the giant snake ball that should be here? So there's the giant tree. The aliens are down there. Yeah, there's one. Uh, but what we want is to jump across. So. If you um, if you miss the jump, you just fall down there, clear them, and then work your way back up, like we did before. But everything's dead now, so should be a lot easier. Grab this and then get the rest of the armor. Then we'll drop down. And we'll take the hill up or the high ground over here. There's a pig that walks across, which don't really need to deal with right now. We'll do that later. Right now we're just going to grab a shortcut. Because we've cleared everything out, so it's just the way to the boss that we need to go. So by going left is where all those aliens were. Going right, there'll be one snakehead behind this tree that we have to deal with, and then it's the shortcut. Use your hand. Oh, he was using his hand then. Took a bit longer than wanted, but better to be safe than sorry. We we'll just run up here. Take the lift. And this, back in the windmill. There's a snake head that we killed stud that was stood over there. And if we go over here, it should be the one on the bridge. Yep, there he is. Now, we'll um, take this shortcut into the lamp and we'll head back, spend our um, echoes because we, we still want to get our strength up to 16 so we can um, use Ludwig's. So let's, we'll see if this one does it, for, if we've got enough. See if we can level up our weapons first. Fortify, nope. Any gems make them more powerful? Uh, 
Uh, there's one. Go. Don't think I have beast one for this yet. Might stick that on though. Get a, get a bit of physical as well. Is it worth it? Uh, probably not. I might do it anyway until I get um. Oh, let's just stick them on. Get a plus ten physical. Plus the twenty six there. Uh, doesn't make much of a difference, but until we get the um, those extra damage against beasts, not limited to what else we can put on. Ah, oh, welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Power. Very well. Let me. Right. So, uh, when he gets forty. Oh. Yeah, okay. So what we'll do is we'll sell sell all of the uh, booze. See how far that gets us. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me. <sighs> We're still one away. Well, I might have to go and do a bit more farming to get to that 16. Um, I need 10,000. So... <sighs> those piggies. Probably the best things to farm. Farewell, good hunter. So I will meet May you back you here when I have... Shout out, woman. I'll meet you back here in a second. To, um, in fact, we're at 28 minutes. So, we'll leave it here. We'll leave it here for now. Next episode, we'll do the um, we'll do the boss. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some farming. Get me uh, Ludwig's. Then we'll be right back. So hopefully, thank you for watching. This we're gonna cut here. Might as well. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you have a fantastic day, and hopefully, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye bye.